Hello guys and girls, thank you for coming into my little corner of the internet. My name is Maya and I'm broadcasting out the UK. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome. So today's shave is going to be another face shave and I have, I am continuing my UK soaps and today's is going to be Castle Forbes 1445 and it comes in this tub and when you open it so it's a humongous tub for the money you get and that's what it looks like it's more of a crope it's almost a cream it's so soft so that's how it looks and today I have already pre it and I will just show you I have got my scuttle full of warm water and I'm resting on the one side my Edward X Jacob it's a dual comb closed comb on the one side open comb on the other and it's the wooden one and I'm just resting that in the hot water there and the blade that's in it is the Derby Premium and it's on its fifth and last use and the brush that I'm using is the Yaki um, Arctic Lake dual band badger that you'll see afterwards once I've got the lather off it and that was soaking in the warm water too it is such a miserable day it's turned out to be miserable that warm water is just a nice little treat so let's get started and I'll wet my face there we go this is also all warm water today and what's the soap like well it's ferns and grasses lavender tarragon lemon and bitter orange the scent strength is medium now I can't see out my glasses that was a good idea Maya <laughs> I wiped my glasses and now I can't see a thing there we go here's my shave towel there we go that's better here we go um so yeah let's get going first pass I've got to adjust my mirror here and I don't know where it's pointing to but definitely not in the right direction so I used about a gram of soap and I only used the water that was in the brush. I didn't add any water to this. Because when the badger and ball brushes, same as horse, all natural hair brushes, aren't broken in completely yet, then they keep a lot of water. Um, and that's how you end up with a dissipating lather. So I'm going to keep it quite dry. Sand strength, as I said, is medium. Here we go. Let's go. So let's go with the grain. Oh, this feels so good. Everything's so nice and warm. It's real luxury. It was quite a while since I used the soap. With this razor, even it's a cheap razor, but and it has an overhang, but it works very well indeed.
check out my UK razor reviews the UK razors let me put that back into the warm water oops I'm having it oh here we go here we go now now I got it there you go um, that's when I did a full review of price and how it works and so on and so forth so check out my video on the UK razors there you go next pass this is so you oh, nearly nearly all the way down was nearly boob lava. Mmm, just feels so luxurious. Get my razor out again. Second part against the grain. It's definitely now the season for warm scuttles again it's starting <laughs> we might have the odd warm day and then i'll have a cold scuttle but i'm sort of thinking no we might have passed that season now if you're on the southern hemisphere then you're coming into spring we're just coming into autumn To the warm water so you see a scuttle can be used more than one way you don't always have to just do the way that everyone does it maybe that was the wrong way of saying it there's not only one way is what I'm trying to say This water, even though it was tap water, my tap water doesn't get that super hot. Hot, but not like kettle boiled water. The scuttle is keeping the water so nice and hot. This is a Nathan Smallman scuttle, by the way. get it on Amazon or from his shop Nathan Smallman Ceramics and it's in the vintage style but without the holes in it right and now against the grain I do like the Derby Premiums. They have nice feedback. They're smooth. Do just do the job very nicely.
careful over that spot, not that I open that up again. That bit I caught last time. The, the scarring. the closed comb to the open comb on this razor. The Parker open comb is a tiny bit milder than this. Um, this one, it depends what blade you got in, can be a medium to aggressive. So that's why I'm a bit weary with it. Careful. just do a touch up here because I've got the lather because I don't want any rash here we go There, that's all done. Put that aside. Let's wipe my face. Oh, they're so still very warm. The lava is very warm indeed. And that's why I like using also natural hair brushes. They keep the warmth in it as well. I suppose the right kind of synthetic brush might as well, but not as readily as... I'm just taking the lather out and putting that into my soap bowl here, so that I can use that later. No waste here. Let me just get that out, so that I can wash my brush out so I can show you. See, there was still quite a bit of lather left. You see that? So I'm not wasting that at all. That'll be in there in my tub till tomorrow. And it will have only dissipated a tiny bit, but the scent will still be there. So let me just show you the scuttle once more. This is a very deep scuttle and has no holes in the bottom. But this is quite a wide mouth. And the water in here really fills it up and makes it really nice and warm. The lather is superbly warm. Let me just show you the wash off the brush. I know it's noisy, but hey, that's what you get. It is called wet shaving after all, and not dry shaving. Let me just shake it out. So here we go. That is the Yaki Arctic Lake with the two band badger. And it is a 24 millimeter. And that fits into the spout, by the way. Okay, you need to maybe have to twirl it a bit to fit it in. Wait, you see, I need two hands. What you do is you just hold it like this, fit it in, and then you twirl it in. And there you go, it fits in, fits in nicely. You see that? So 24 mils do fit into here as well, even if it's such a big bulb bulbous one. Right, 
this is dried now nicely so I'm going to put on today my Humphreys witch hazel with cucumber and melon oh that comes out so so much at a time can't get used to it mm, this is a very close shave this is the one without al alcohol by the way uh, no alcohol in this one I've made a mess here I've got like a lake I was shaking the brush I made a huge mess right, let's dry my hands okay next up I'm going to put this underneath this is an illuminating gel which again closes the pores and prepares the pH balance and lets the cream that will come on top soak in a lot better. Let's put some up here as well. There we go. So no, I won't glow in the dark, guys. <laughs> it says illuminating, but it's not like the Blackpool Tower, all right? <laughs> On that, I'm putting the Soothing Gel Moisturizer from Sonia, which is for mixed skin. And when I've got gel already on, that's the one I use. Sometimes I just prefer to have a lighter cream, as in gel in this case. And it's, the scent fits very well with the, the Forbes. Castle Forbes 1445. There we go. That's why I chose this today. There we go. And last but not least, I'm going to put on Floris 1988. And the scent of this is Woody Green, which fits again with the green. And it has bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, cassis, green galbanum, iris, jasmine, rose, rosemary, thyme, vertiva, sandalwood, musk and amber. So it'll just bring down those green notes down a little bit so it doesn't smell so cologne-y. Well, let me make sure I, this time I get the the spray in the right. There we go. Oh. This is also lovely. It's very light. It is, has a very light smell. It's not heavy at all and it's not too green. Yes, it's more, it has a tiny hint of floral, but very little. It's more woody and green. They're right. It is. Ah, oh, that's lovely. So that was it for today. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. I had a mini pamper session there with everything being so warm and lovely and the scuttle doing its job. Um, so I'm super happy and I hope I will see you soon. So till, till, wait, hang on, today we have Friday film, so that will be Monday movie. See you Monday movie. Bye bye. I'm missing you already, but now I've got to switch off even though I'm missing you. I've got to switch it off. Bye bye.